morning. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Are you feeling empowered? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling resourceful? <laughs> if not, well, you got to get with the program. We're <laughs> not running around feeling sorry for ourselves. We're not running around blaming other people, being angry, um, being all moody. Nope, we're not doing any of that. We're bringing goodness into this world in every way that we possibly can at every opportunity that we have. We got to do it. The world is full of a lot of anger and a lot of fear and doubt right now. A lot of self-hatred. We cannot afford to be a part of that mass army. We will spread love. That is what we're doing. We're spreading our virus of love. <laughs> okay? And we're not taking no for an answer. Um, we're not letting it go. No matter what the world is saying, we must be, we must do, we must feel. We do have to follow the rules, but we don't have to follow the hatred and the fear. And we say no, <laughs> right? We say no every day at every opportunity. No to darkness, no to misery, no to sorrow. And I'm not saying that we're not going to do some things that may be a little challenging, um, things that may really be causing us some pain. We'll deal with that. We'll face it. We're facing it. We're looking at it right in the eyes. We don't like it, but we're embracing it. And then we're going to release it and let it go. And we're going to move on, right? That's what we're doing. We cannot afford to stay in a place of darkness and a place where we're not being productive. Because we got to produce. We got to produce these big old smiles. <laughs> we got to produce some um, kindness. Um, we got to help other people. We're the strong ones, right? Right now. Um, and people need us. You know, we need one another. In areas where we're normally strong, sometimes people have to do for us what we normally do for other people. I know I said that yesterday. I think it bears repeating. So let's not take anything or anybody for granted. Let's be ever hopeful. Let's be cheerful. If you're going through some difficulties, I understand. I might not know what you're suffering through. I know what I've been through just in my life in general. And I promise you, no matter what you're going through, it will end and it will get better. That's a guarantee. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing. So as best you can, I encourage you to invest your energy in being in a place of peace, in a place of hope, in a place of expectation, not in a place of fear, not in a place of doubt, not in a place of ingratitude. Um, as you know, I say all the time, Whatever we're meditating on and whatever we're speaking, we're increasing it. So we're going to speak words of love. We're going to speak words of peace, words of um, production, words of success, words of fulfillment, words of enlightenment. That's what we're going to do, right? Doing it all the time. No exceptions. No matter what's going on, no matter how difficult it may be in the beginning, just doing it because it is hard. I've, I've worked through it, so I understand. But don't let that be the thing that stops you. Work through it. You'll have a much happier life. And you'll feel so much better about yourself. The people you care about, the people you don't care about. Your perspective will change tremendously. And not only that, it will bring better things into your world. So we got to keep our minds on that. And we can't let that go. Anyway, um, thanks again for tuning in. It's been an absolute delight and pleasure being with you again this morning. I hope your day is outstanding. And I hope you are the catalyst to have an outstanding day. We're not just sitting around expecting anything to come. It's like, oh, I'm so unsure about things. No, control what comes by meditating on what you want what's good and what's um, what will yield joy and peace to you. Have a great day. Um, have a good evening. 
Sleep well tonight. And I'll see you in the morning. Peace. You know you're my road dogs. Holla. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you in the morning.